Hi friends, I am Dr. Nilesh Chaudhary, Cancer Surgeon from Specialty Surgical Oncology, Hospital Research Center, Ghatkopar. Is esophagus cancer surgery safe? So I would like to elaborate on that thing today. So esophagus cancer surgery traditionally was used by open surgery method, where they used to take a long cut. It was initially done in two stages and then gradually in one stage. It take, took almost 70 to 80 years for the esophagus surgery to develop properly. And now what we do is a minimal access surgery. So open surgery has its own disadvantages like they have long cut, they have excruciating pain, patients could not breathe properly because of the pain and they have a lot of lung complications. So in surgery, there are two types of esophagus cancer surgeries. One is transthoracic, means entering in the in the of your thorax in the chest cavity and doing surgery. That is called transthoracic esophagectomy. And second method is transhiatal, means from your abdomen you are entering up, removing the tumor part, and completing surgery. So in esophagus cancer surgery, we remove esophagus, we remove a small part of stomach. We make a tube of the stomach, we join it to the upper part of the remaining esophagus. So, patient can swallow and the food will go down. So, traditionally, the open surgery had a lot of disadvantages and that's why people started doing transhiatal, means from abdomen. Because then, the chances of opening chest was low, they have lesser lung complications and they have near about same cure rate. But gradually, people started finding that transhiatal has its own problem because it is completely blind surgery. You are just trusting your fingers. You are not seeing and removing the tumor. That's why chances of complications were little higher like bleeding, injury to major vessels, it used to have a little higher side. And when you are doing blind surgery, you just tend to stick the, to the esophagus. So margin concept was not there. Where generally, whenever we are removing tumor, we have to remove around 1 cm area in fat normal covering surrounding part also. So the tumor will be removed completely. But here we used to just remove the esophagus part without removing the fat layer. So that's why recurrences were slightly higher which we come to know in recent studies. And that's why now we completely do a minimal access cancer surgery. We do a laparoscopic or we do robotic esophagus cancer surgeries. So advantages is in laparoscopy or robotic surgery, just small three ports are there through which we visualize inside your cavity. We, we see all the structures. We carefully disable the esophagus from the surrounding structures without causing any major problem like bleeding, the injury to the, your windpipe, injury to your uh, main vessel called aorta or heart. So, complete under guidance, we can remove the esophagus along with the lymph nodes, along with the mesoesophagus in the fat layer surrounding esophagus. We can identify the nerves which supply your voice box. If in open surgery, chances of nerve injury and causing difficulty in swallowing and causing change in your voice were common, but to traditional minimal access surgery, the chances are less as compared to normal people and uh, normal open surgeries in our series. So we do that part by thoracoscopy, then we do uh, abdominal part also laparoscopically. So traditional specifically, the, you are removing all the lymph nodes, you are mobilizing stomach, you are doing stomach tube by a very small incision, like two or three, one or two inch incision. We can do complete job and then we join the stomach with the esophagus uh, by using staplers. We decrease your leak rate, we decrease complications we, and this laparoscopy decreases your lung complications and that's why fortunately in last our last 100 patients, we hardly had any patient who required ICU for more than two or three days and they most they went home very well. So, esophagus cancer surgery is now safe 
with advances in laparoscopy advances in stapling techniques neural techniques which we use to join the uh, to maintain continuity and we have a lot of energy devices so bleeding is hardly 10 to 20 ml sometimes maximum 50 ml it is the blood which you lesser than the blood which is collected for your pre op uh, testing so esophagus cancer surgery is very much safe if performed by a safe hand for any queries you can call us on following number thank you so much